Since Tuesday, we've been monitoring the race for the White House, but also all of our local races across central New York. This evening, we're joined by both Dustin Zarney, the Democratic uh, Onondaga County Elections Commissioner. Dustin, thank you for joining us. And Republican and the Republican Elections Commissioner for Onondaga County, Michelle Sardo. Thank you. I know you guys have had a busy week. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having us. So, Dustin, let's start with you. Um, I know you were, you guys were in court today. There were some lawsuits filed by some of the campaigns in the local races, uh, State Senate, 24th Congressional District. Uh, what do those lawsuits mean in those cases? What are they asking for? Well, uh, the first lawsuit started with the uh, Rennick campaign uh, in the 50th Senate District uh, wanting to delay the absentee ballot counting uh, and asking for you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of documents to, to, for us to provide. We came up with an agreement with them and uh, we believe the other campaigns are gonna follow suit. That instead of having to go through and delaying our absentee ballot counting that's supposed to start on Monday, it's now gonna be delayed till Tuesday and we're not gonna have to provide these document requests, but they're gonna come in and inspect uh, these documents over the weekend with our uh, staff watching them. Gotcha, Michelle, what does this mean then for the counting of uh, what's gonna be probably thousands, we don't know the exact amount, but, but thousands and thousands of ballot, absentee ballots that are not opened yet. You were planning to start Monday, now it's Tuesday. So what does that mean for the process? Well, there's just, del just delays it a day, So, but the process will still stay the same the way we're gonna start counting everything. We'll start with all our towns and then work our way into the city districts. I was gonna say, how does that work? I mean, you, you explained it that way, but does somebody read each one? Um, how long does it take? How many can you get through in a day? When might you finish? What's that like? Well, we're gonna try, we're gonna try to get at least 10,000 done in a day. That's, we're optimistic about that. Yeah. We have a great staff, so let's see if everything is counted that way. But we're gonna work our best to get it done as soon as possible. They open them, run them through the machines, or how's that work? They're gonna open them up, show them to the campaigns that are sitting in front of our staff. The campaigns will be sitting in front of our staff, and then they will run the ballots through a scanning machine which tallies the ballots. Gotcha. Dustin, how common are lawsuits like this, especially like in local races? Um, there's always been absentees to count, obviously not as many as, as this year. Um, or is this just magnified and because there's so many or do we generally see lawsuits? Uh, we generally don't, not hmm. in the local races, at least in my time as commissioner. That, that doesn't mean that there hasn't been. And I think the difference is this year we have so many absentee mm -hmm. ballots and so many races that are dependent on the absentee ballots so um you know some of this is some of the lawsuits are just seeking clarification okay. uh on on our steps and now that we've provided it i think people will be happy and i hope that the speed in which we are able to count these absentees will stay brisk uh and, and we won't have too many onerous objections from the campaigns and we'll be able to do our work and count every vote. Um, Dustin, I know that uh, you said your office has been inundated with them, so has the State Board of Elections. So they actually sent out a message um, that the voting process uh, and the voting machines and scanners do accept and count a ballot marked by any pen, marker, pencil, blue, black ink, ballpoint, felt tip, Sharpie. I know you guys had those Sharpies specifically for this purpose, but uh, I wonder if they're just trying to, one, call many social media rumors and and to let people know that if you did use those your vote's going to count still yeah uh so in onondaga county we actually give out sharpies mm -hmm. to every voter uh because they are the best at picking up on our uh image cast machines and making sure that the most accurate count happens and that's why we prefer to vote on a sharpie i myself voted on a sharpie uh when i voted early at southwest community center so uh this internet rumor about sharpies being invalidated because they're not uh you know coming up is just wrong michelle lastly i can get one more in there they said um are all the absentee ballots into onondaga county are you waiting for any more or do you have uh, all of them in place uh they are all in order and in place but they have up until the 10th to have them into our office as long as they're postmarked November 3rd. Okay, so there could still be a, a trickle of a few more, but you're probably not anticipating yeah. a big rush of them. No, I worry not. Beautiful. Michelle Sardo, uh, thank you very much. Dustin Zarni, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time. I know this has been a, uh, a, a very long week, and uh, I guess you, you guys still have a busy weekend and a busy week ahead of you, right? 
Yes. No rest for the weary. We're going to get it done, though. All right. I'm sure we'll try to check back in with you next week. We'll keep an eye on this. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.